Hello everyone! Welcome! <sighs> it's Friday, finally! <laughs> the weeks I feel like they're getting longer. There was a period where we were just like, oh my gosh, it's Thursday already. And lately I've been feeling like it's like taking such a long time to get to Friday. But we're here, we made it, happy Friday! Ah, TGIF. I have some new beauty products to share with you guys. So first, let's get started with housekeeping. If you're brand new here, if this is the first stream that you're watching, give me a hashtag new in the chat box so that I know and I can greet you and welcome you accordingly. If you are get watching live, give me a shout out, a hi, a hello, a how you doing. And if you're watching the replay, I know a lot of you catch us on the replay. That's so cool. I appreciate you guys checking in for the replay. Drop me a hashtag replay in the comments and definitely be sure to, um, you know, join the conversation through the comments so that we are, you know, keeping this conversation going with all of us here. We are 100% a community and I love to hear from you guys as well. So don't be shy if you're, if you're watching the replay or if you're watching live, definitely join in the convo. Millie is here. Hello, hello. Welcome. So good to see you again. Tell Carlos I said hello for another day. <laughs> Every day, right? <laughs> So good to see you, Millie. Thank you for joining. So today I am going to share some new makeup. As I mentioned, I'm going to drop a product link in the chat box as well so that you guys can find it and follow along with what I'm sharing. So this product is a brand new product from the Face Shop, actually. So this is a Face Shop product. Um, if you guys haven't heard if you haven't realized really because a lot of the products I've been sharing have been in um, collaboration with um, Belief, the Face Shop, um, you know, as a part of the brand new Avon umbrella. We get to partner with a lot new, a lot of new products. Um, what was the other one we were talking about the other day? Dr. Groot, um, Physiogel, you know, they're, uh, our product portfolio <laughs> is gr is growing so much. So we have new products today from the Face Shop. And today I'm going to be sharing the new flat two-tone lipstick. So this product has a lot going on. I know it's like, okay, another lipstick, but I'm going to be demonstrating this for you today. And there is more than meets the eye with this lipstick. When it came out, I was like, okay, yeah another lipstick no big deal but one of the things I'm loving about these products is even though they're lipsticks they really feel more like a gloss or a, a more moisturizing lipstick so for my friends out there who are gloss lovers like me hashtag boss of gloss I don't think you're gonna be disappointed with this lipstick because it really does feel very much like a gloss so I'm going to be sharing and, and trying on these three colors, but I'm also going to be telling you a little bit about the benefits of this product. So first and foremost, the, the flat portion of the name. Um, let's see if I could do this with this color. So the flat kind of speaks to it not being a matte, but being more of a satiny... I would say it's more of a satin, but it's not like a juicy, glossy look. It's not a, you know, like a juicy gloss finish. And it definitely has no shimmer, which I love. Not a big fan of shimmer in my lip gloss. I like shimmer on my eyes. Um, and definitely can't rock with sparkles. But um, it's not matte. So they call it a flat lipstick. And then you'll see it's two tones. It's actually two shades in one. So with each swipe, I'm just going to keep my shades in check. With each swipe, you get two colors. So each one of these little sticks has two shades in it and that really makes it easier for you to do a you know a couple of different things can you guys see the difference in color let me get a bolder shade so that shade was um beige effect but i want to get a bolder shade so that you guys can really see the difference in color so it's a twist up you twist the bottom it's you know shaped like a pencil you twist the bottom and then you could see the two shades there. Yeah, that one kind of shows a little bit better. So each product comes with these two shades so that you can really um, get those two colors on at one time. And one of the things that I loved about this was it makes it easier to do an ombre look. You know, normally with ombre, it's um, one shade towards the inner side of your lip and then another shade on the outside. So with this product, you can do that with just one swipe. So. I'm going to zoom way in, 
Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Do you guys remember that? Like back when YouTube was a baby, they had a, like, what was it? Surprise squirrel or something like that? Um, that intense zoom in. So I'm going to be trying this on, but I want to get you really close so that you can see how fun this is. So, I mean, ombre is not new. We've been doing that forever. And I love to blend a lipstick. I need a mirror. I love to blend my lipsticks out because it, first of all, it gives you more versatility. I feel like I get more colors when I blend two colors together. Can you guys see? Oh, this shade is so nude. This color, what did I say it was? Beige effect. So it has a darker shade on the outside and then the lighter shade on the inside, but it's very much like a nude, barely there kind of lip gloss color so you get just like that slight darkening on the outside not like in the 90s when we used to line our lips with that dark black brown color uh we're not going for the cholo effect here uh shout out to my la friends <laughs> that was really big in the 90s that really dark outline and that really light inner line but it's what i love about it is that you basically are lining your lips in one step so you get a two for one so that's the first thing. The second thing I loved about it was that it was really moisturizing. So can you guys see how it has just a little bit of a sheen to it? It's not quite matte. It's I would say it's like a moisturizing matte. So when they say flat, I was like, to be honest with you, I thought that it would just kind of have no sheen. Like, you know, when I think of flat, I think of like flat paints, um, just barely a sheen. This one actually has a little bit more going on than you would expect so that shade let me just do a swipe for you I think this is the one I just did yeah you guys saw the swipe for this one already so why don't we go ahead and try another one so that's beige very nude very soft very light color so for those of you who are watching where are my nude people who likes a nude lip color barely there almost transparent I think that would be great like for every day if I just want, like lately, sometimes I just want a little bit of color to my lips, more for the moisture than for actual color. The other color that I have is this one, Pink Delight. And Pink Delight is almost like, it reminds me of like a strawberry and a hot pink. You know, it's that deep red and then that hot pink color. And then just to swatch for you, I feel like I should swatch everybody in the same direction so you see how you get that double line when you with just one swipe so when you're applying it I like the darker color on the outside okay I can't do this and talk <laughs> I like a darker shade outside and a lighter shade inside so you could either leave it or blend it I find I tend to blend it, but it's up to you. If you want a harsher line, you could definitely just leave it. I like to blend it a little. Yes, and then I have more lips, so I need a little extra <laughs> love in the middle. So this is the Pink Delight. Very vibrant, like pink, pink. Millie says she likes the darker shade outside too. Hey, Nita, thank you for joining. So good to see you, girl. So, yeah, they just line. But super moisture, moisturizing, super hydrating. And I love that the colors are intense. Like, not like fluorescent, but intense enough, like you get the color. So Millie says that this is a beautiful color. Yeah, I think this is kind of fun. Kind of reminds me of the summer like a watermelon, like strawberry watermelon kind of feel. But one of the fun things you could also do with this, so like I said, I like the outer color on the, I mean the darker color on the outside and the lighter color on the inside. You can also, if you just want the lighter color, let's see if I could do that. If you compare. <laughs> Oops, no, that's not what I want to do. Don't blot. <laughs> If you just want a lighter color, you could do that. So let's say I just like this light color on the inside. 
I can just take that and fill in all over. Can you guys understand what I'm even saying? If you just want a lighter color, you can take the lighter shade and use that for your whole lip. Same thing with the darker shade. If you want it darker, let's say you want to create a custom color, a little mixture of the two of them. You can do that as well. So you can use each color interchangeably. So each one of these, it's like your lip liner. You can, you know, take your dark color. Let's say I wanted to mix this dark brown from the beige effect huh? with this shade. Let's take this down just a couple of degrees, right? Get my chin. Let's say I wanted the darker shade of beige effect as a liner. I could do that too. So just because they blend together, like each product comes with its own pairing, you can still mix and match to kind of make your own pair. Maybe I wasn't really, you know, maybe you don't really want that darker red from um, the Pink Delight. Maybe you want the light pink from Pink Delight and then the beige from Beige Effect, the dark beige from the Beige Effect. So you can do that too and create custom looks if you want. You could also just use them as a as a lip liner. Hey, Janet, good to see you. Thank you for joining us. You could also use it as a lip liner. So for those of you who are looking for like a quick and easy look, I think this is great because like I said, with one swipe, you guys see how easy it is to get the ombre. ombre. I think when normally when I'm making my own ombre, I put on the color that I want and then I'll kind of line on the outside. But sometimes I have to play with it to get it right with this it's just so much easier to use like i used it um i tried it out and i was really shocked at how easy it is to to blend the two colors like they and the colors are like perfectly paired so it comes in a different couple of different shades let me swap over so you guys can see a couple of different shade combinations you have orange meets red uh purple with beige pink delight double up pink beige effect which you've seen and brown effect the one that I haven't shown you yet I think is the one that I gravitated to the most which is the purple with beige and this one is like a I don't even know what I would call that maybe like a wine and then a deep almost plum shade so what are we doing darker at the bottom lighter at the top So that's how that pairing looks. So the new, the the um, the purple at the top is for me a darker, a woman with darker skin tone, closer to a nude color. So um, I really like that shade. So once again, just in you know, quick and easy, couple of strokes. I do need to see myself in the mirror. <laughs> easy. So that was um the darker shade on the inside and the lighter shade outside that's another thing you could do they call it um like a popsicle look when you do the reverse so if you're a person who likes the lighter shade on the outside and the darker shade on the inside you could do that they call it popsicle lip so it's a look that that's been going around so let me try that lighter shade on the outside darker shade on the inside and because your girl got a little more lip happening What do you guys think about popsicle lip? Reversed? I like it the other way. What do you guys think? Daisy says purple is... Oh, Nita. <laughs> My mirror is in the way of the first half, half of your name, Nita. So Nita says purple is fabulous. This is the shade that I love. I love like a wine colored lipstick. And even, you know, with it in reverse, not so bad. Kind of gives you that... Um, a couple of years ago, maybe 2016, there was a look where the the lip was so like intense in the middle and then it started to like fade out. It kind of gives me that look. I would just mattify, let me try this guy, the inner lip a little bit more if I'm going for that popsicle type of effect. And yeah, like um, just like I'm doing, you can play with the um, finish. So if you're, if you want it to be a little more matte than shiny, not shimmery, because it's not shimmery, you could just kind of blot it. You can dust on a little bit of pressed powder and then you can make it a matte. So I've been 
since I've been wearing the mask in this season that we're in, I've been mattifying a lot of my lipsticks, just putting them on for a little bit of color, mattifying them down so that you get this, you know, no sheen kind of look. So this is, if I was doing that popsicle look, this is kind of more like how I would wear it. Very intense on the inside and then very light on the outside. And then again, you can definitely go in with, this is beige effect again. You can mix and match them. Let's see it with a little of the darker shade of beige effect. Mm. Just to kind of map that out a little bit. But it's so... <laughs> so hydrating. Makes your, it really does make your lips feel moisturized. Like, when I mattify, I kind of want to put some back on to, to get that moisture to come back. <laughs> so this that last shade was um, purple with beige in reverse. Dark on the inside, light on the outside. But I wore it today. Let me get some of this color off. I feel like I need more makeup remover. Uh, Or maybe my lips are just really red from all the rubbing. <laughs> so has anybody watching tried any of these um, Face Shop Flat Two Tone Lipsticks? If you have, did you have a favorite? What did you like about it? Out of the colors, which ones do you want to try for yourself? Which one did you, did you like? I want to do that um, purple with beige with the darker color on the inside. No, the darker color on the outside. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's more me. Darker shade outside, lighter shade inside. So let's just, you know, for the reverse, you just flip it. Get this. Widow's Peak. Or Cupid's Bow. <laughs> Easy matte. I like to just kind of purse my lips together to blend the colors a little bit because I I like the line between the um I like my ombre to transition a little bit so for that I just purse my lips together a little bit like this kind of give those two shades an opportunity to blend into each other and then if I want you know to um, round out my lips I just come back in with a darker shade around the edges and I love that these colors, like I said, are already paired. So you grab one and you have colors that work really well together. You don't have, you know, no guessing. So it's like three products in one. You get your lip liner, you get your, your two lipsticks, and you can create that ombre, ombre effect. Mm. And um, another thing that I was playing around with Milagro says she likes the first one I tried. The beige effect, you like a more of a nude kind of look. Janet says, nice blending. Super easy to blend. <laughs> um, I would, I think I'm leaning more towards the um, purple with beige. So maybe me, me and Nita are in the same camp, purple and beige. But you guys can also, if you're, um, just like with any lipstick, I always say whatever makeup you're working with, play around with it. Because if these colors are looking a little too much for you, let's say the purple with beige is a little too intense, most of the colors I think are, I think they're really great with, that, with complementing skin tone. I think the purple with beige and the orange meets red color are the more intense shades. And then pink delight and double up pink are more like medium in between shades. And then you have beige effect and brown effect. Those are your like really matte um, not so much matte. Um, you're really neutral tones. I hate the term nude because I always say to myself, nude for who? But um, if you're if you want to try out one of the bolder colors, I would get the one of the bolder shades like purple with beige or orange meets red, and also pick up one of the um, more natural tones, beige effect or brown effect, so that you could tone it down. Because like with this shade, I'm gonna come in with the lighter shade of beige effect. And just bring that down a little bit and I'm just gonna do it on one side so that you can compare 
So if you want to play with your colors, you can play with your colors, just not your food. Can you guys see? So this is um, purple with beige and then a little bit of beige effect so that you guys can see, you know, how you can play around with the different colors. So the colors are really unlimited. So you can get the six available colors in this set. And then you, of course, have unlimited because you can play around with these six colors because even though it's six pencils, it is um, in the set. I know these aren't. I know this is three, not six. <laughs> Even though there's six pencils in the set, they each have two. So it's a total of 12 different shades that you have that you can mix and match. You can do a full lip. You can do the ombre. You can do the reverse. Um, I want to kind of take, Janet says purple with beige as well. Um, I'm going to take some of this um, pink delight. And I want to see if I could pump up the inner lip on this side a little. This is what I do in my spare time when I'm home. I, I pull out all my lipsticks. So it's so fun to be able to try with you guys. <laughs> Keep me company while I play my makeup. So I'm still creating that ombre just with three different shades. It is so juicy. It, it just feels really great moisturizing hydrating like especially with the way I'm taking off these colors and putting on new ones sometimes when you're doing that with lipstick if the lipstick isn't moisturizing it leaves your lips feeling so super dry I'm not getting that here like my lips still feel very moisturized so um check it out guys face shop flat two-tone lipstick and don't be intimidated by the fact that it says flat because you you can see it still has a little bit of a shine to it I'm kind of looking a little two-faced here aren't I <laughs> I feel like I should put that color back so I can talk to you guys without looking like a DC comic book character. Let me add back in my ombre. Just want to use that outer color, darker shade. Let's put some color back. Oh, and you can intensify it too. So if you like a bolder ombre, just put more of the darker shade. Come, you know, come back in with your darker shade a little bit more and intensify that color. You see? Just a little, just going back in with it a little bit more helps. But you guys see, even as I'm talking to you guys, the light, my lights are reflecting. So it's really a satin. Um, I guess, you know, their term, everybody has different terms. But think of more of a satin finish than an eggshell finish. It's not... Um, it, it's, it's leaning more towards shiny than it is towards matte. So don't see flat. I mean, even like when I was looking at the colors and even if you look at the product, I've totally gunked these up now. So they're no longer pretty, but even like looking at the product description, I, to be honest with you, I thought these were going to be flat shades. They just sort of look like they, they don't really give you an idea of how glossy it is once you've put it on it looks sort of more matte than shiny so <laughs> daisy says oh no you don't <laughs> so don't be intimidated by the way the colors look um in the images they give you really those are just to give you an idea of the colors um that they have not so much to give you an idea of how um I would say the finish. Those images don't really speak to the finish of these shades. So don't be intimidated if you're um, a person who likes to have more of a shimmer finish. You still do get that shimmer and you can work work it. Like, you know, don't be, feel like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have this really stark line on my lips with this product. You can definitely blend it out so that you don't have you know, a harsh line on the outside. Just because it's a two-tone lipstick, think of it as just having more options. I'm gonna let you backtrack a little bit. <laughs> but think of it as having more options for colors um, or being able to create an uh, easy ombre than having like a, a, a stark line because it's really, 
it's really just to give you another way to play with colors but i think that this is a product that's great for people who may be intimidated like um sometimes people will say to me i want to try a look but i don't know what colors to start off with i don't know how to create the look i want so these are perfectly paired so you don't have to worry about um getting one and then not having the colors work together all of these colors they're already in a pair where they the colors complement each other so you're you're good on that front so whichever one of these you pick to try you're going to be all set but um, keep in mind that the colors you can you know still play around with the colors yourself so that you can create I, I swear I have like two different colors this is different than this side even though I added some more of this shade on this side the colors are still very different so you can definitely play around with it but at the end of the day guys it's makeup have fun with it it's not <laughs> meant you know as a, a commitment you don't have to do it the way that the commercial or the images show you just get creative with it so I hope you guys feel more confident about trying these out they are paraben free so if you're looking for paraben free products these are the products for you and um, like I said I showed you a couple of different ways that you can try using it out using these products um, and testing it out for yourself but go ahead get creative you know pick a color to start but also like I feel like we tend to pick up the color in our comfort zone Pick the color in your comfort zone, but then also challenge yourself. If you tend to wear darker colors, challenge yourself to get a lighter color. If you wear lighter colors, challenge yourself to wear a darker color. At the end of the day, all of these pairs have a mix of two colors, a darker and light. So you can always play around with it to use it the way you want it. You know, you can always um, even blend the, the colors together. So if you want, for example, um, let's take this Pink Delight. So with Pink Delight... You guys remember it has sort of that those watermelon colors let's say you're not really a fan of the lighter color you can just blend in I want to make a bigger swatch so you can see better you can blend the darker and lighter shade together to create like an in-between color I'm just gonna muddy it up a little bit but just so that you can guys can see and you can make it lighter or you can make it darker let's see if I can get both of those going and if you guys can tell the difference just by leaning on the pencil in a different direction so if you want it to be darker all I'm doing is um, taking these different shades you see how the um, the darker shade is at the bottom so if I want my blend to be darker I just kind of lean more on the darker side and blend if I want it to be lighter I just lean more on the lighter shade and blend so you can have the dark and the light lines you know for lining your lips but you can also have a lighter shade I don't think the camera is doing it justice let me add a little more light and a little more dark so that you guys can see those the, the actual difference in colors oh my gosh it looks like I've been playing in crayons but it's okay because we're, we're doing homeschooling now right <laughs> so I think that's a little bit better you guys can see the difference between the dark and light shade so you can always blend them out together to create a new shade that's a combination of <laughs> the both of them janet says i sold her on another product <laughs> sorry birds of a feather though you're not gonna be disappointed though when you get it it is fun but um i just liked how hydrating it was i i tried this color out i had it on all day the color lasts a very long time um but it does it feels like a tinted um, it's to me it's the new lipsticks I feel like the newer lipsticks are um, coming out with a more moisturizing more hydrating formula so if you tried lipsticks in the past this is not grandma's lipstick this is not that dry chalky stuff that lipstick used to be this is very hydrating very moisturizing it doesn't even feel it doesn't have the texture of lipstick it feels more like a, a gloss but not a sticky gloss you know um, this isn't elementary school gloss either it's just <laughs> it's I feel the, th this is the way lipstick should feel very creamy um, and give you bold colors like these shades that you guys are seeing them as I put them on I didn't um, I didn't put any concealer on my lips I have a darker skin tone so these colors pop even against my darker skin tone so all of those things are things that I look at when I'm looking for lipstick um, and I, I just I like that little glossy satin finish is what they call it a little bit of a shine a, like a, a kiss of shine 
not too much shimmer that it you know it's more on the fmg we do have a gloss that's coming out i i don't know if i ordered it i have to go through my order and see if i have it but there is a gloss that's coming out and maybe when i do that video i'll compare like high gloss to this kind of gloss but this gloss i feel like is a more everyday kind of gloss look so try it out these are the face shop flat two-tone lipsticks i posted a link to the products in the um comments box so you can find them and these are did i tell you the price because i believe they were on sale okay they are as usual you know i, I look for those sale prices for you guys <laughs> so the regular price is 16 dollars, but right now they're on sale for 13. so don't sleep on them and wait until that sale price goes away get it now while it's on sale and take advantage of the opportunity so um i think that's gonna be it for me i hope you guys enjoyed my little try on today i know i had fun mixing the colors and i still have plenty of mixing to go don't be surprised if you see these colors appear in future videos because i do love them i do i love how moisturizing they're they're feeling and i find especially when i'm streaming because i'm talking a lot I, I need that extra moisture. My lips are doing, they're putting in a lot of work. So they, they need a little extra love. So I love that this is a product that I can wear while I'm doing my talking without having them dry out on me mid-conversation, literally. So try it out. The Face Shop Flat Two-Tone Lipstick. Great price, now on sale. And I will see you guys again. So it's Friday, so we're off for the weekend. So I'll see you back here on Monday. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Hit that little bell so that you'll be alerted of all of my upcoming videos. I do, you know, sometimes share other videos aside from these live streams, but just to make sure you don't miss the live streams either, you can subscribe. I also have a playlist called Stream with G. So if you missed a, a previous episode and you want to catch up, of course, you can do that as well. But if there's anything that you want to ask me, anything that you want to see, any questions that you have about these products or um, or another product that you want to see me do a review of, let me know. Shoot me an email. My email is georgianaplusslive at bossladies.com. Send me an email. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. Some of the videos I've done so far are in response to the questions that you guys have sent me. So don't be shy. I love to hear from you guys. I love the emails that you guys have sent me so far. Um, some of you have sent me introductions, uh, you know, to who you are so that, you know, we can get to know each other a little better, which I love because here I'm doing most of the talking, but I still want to get to know you guys and connect with you. So send me your emails, your questions, your comments, your concerns, uh, videos that you want to see. And while we're taking a break for the weekend, I will be back on Monday with new videos. So be sure to join me right here weekday nights at 8 p.m.